Hi everyone, my name is Nathan Chi, and today I'm presenting Modeling, a novel dataset for testing LLM linguistic reasoning. This work was co-authored between Stanford NLP and Yale's Lilly Lab. Much recent work has shown that LLMs perform well on both few-shot reasoning and multilingual reasoning. But how about their intersection, few-shot multilingual reasoning? Since LLMs are trained on a huge dataset covering much of the internet, they are likely to have observed significant amounts of text in most major languages. Therefore, evaluating their ability to reason about languages they've never seen before is very difficult. We propose evaluating multilingual few-shot reasoning through the use of carefully designed language puzzles. These puzzles test the ability of language models to reason about new languages outside of the training set. LLMs perform well on some categories of modeling problems, providing evidence that they possess some few-shot multilingual reasoning capabilities. However, there's ample room for improvement. On harder categories, performance remains poor. Even in easier categories, models perform far from perfect. Our results suggest that language models can be an effective way to measure few-shot multilingual reasoning. Modeling consists of Rosetta Stone problems, a genre of linguistic problems originating from linguistics Olympiads. These consist of a small number of sentences in an unknown target language, which are translated to the solver's language and imply a set of underlying grammatical rules. Although there has been one previous dataset of Rosetta Stone problems, this dataset is drawn from well-known problems that are likely to have appeared in LLM training data. Our dataset consists entirely of newly written problems created specifically for this dataset, and we demonstrate that popular LLMs do not display data leakage on the dataset. So our 272 questions cover 19 lower resource languages from across the world, entailing significant linguistic and typological diversity. Now let's dive into the structure of a modeling problem. First, there are a number of parallel sentence pairs. Unlike a typical translation task, the sentence pairs are chosen to uniquely specify a single reasonable underlying model for the grammar of the target language. Then, the solver is asked to translate a sentence either from the target language to English or from English to the target language. And when prompting an LLM, each task is prompted without the context of the other questions or their answers. In all cases, the solver should not have prior knowledge of the language. So solving the questions without these parallel sentence pairs should be an impossible task. We verify that current LLMs do in fact achieve 0% performance in this case, demonstrating that no data leakage has occurred. Modeling consists of four categories of problems, which we'll describe now. First of all, there is noun adjective, also known as nominal clause order problems, which entail determining the relative ordering of nouns and adjectives. Word order requires determining the order of subject, verb, and objects in simple clauses. Possession problems require determining how possession is marked. And finally, semantic matching problems entail aligning foreign compounds to English translations using cross-cultural reasoning. Now let's talk briefly about evaluation. We prompted GPT suite models to solve these problems Evaluating exact match accuracy as completely correct and completely wrong answers can often look quite similar. We tried a number of different prompting schemes, but we found that they didn't significantly affect results, and you can find the full details in our abstract. Overall, we find that LLMs do relatively well on our dataset. The average solve percentage over all questions exceeds 50% on GPT-4 and 45% on GPT-3. That being said, we observe numerous areas for LLM improvement. For instance, they struggle to solve semantic and possessive problems, which often have more complex morphology. 
Furthermore, we know that orthography has a significant impact on model performance. To probe the impact of diacritics on performance, we substituted all diacritics with standard romanizations. Evaluating GPT-4 on this new dataset, we find models achieve an accuracy increase of 4.8%. So in, in conclusion, we've demonstrated that LLMs exhibit non-negligible abilities at few-shot multilingual reasoning. These abilities cannot be purely explained by data leakage. However, there is significant room for improvement, and we believe that modeling can be an effective benchmark to measure progress in multilingual reasoning. At this point, we'd like to acknowledge Lori Levin and Aleka Blackwell for helpful discussions and give special thanks to Dragomir Radev, who unfortunately passed away during the preparation of this work.